Hey everyone, Dave here, and today I'm checking out the cooling pad interface kit for Quest 2. Even though we are way ahead of the generations, like we have now Pro, Quest 3 is coming soon, but my white baby is still going strong at my home, not here in the recording studio. And it's essentially the most used headset in the world still, so even though it's kinda considered ancient in the VR space, it will still go strong in the future, like we've got Quest 1 that got discontinued eventually, but this one I don't think is going out anytime soon. <laughs> so today on the palette we have a cooling pad kit from Global Cluster. We've tried few of their accessories in the past, like I would say in terms of quality there's somewhere in the middle from what I've had so far. And this one is no different, so it's pretty much like a brand for this brand to provide some middle tier equipment if you're looking for some upgrades outside of the stock solutions. What's interesting is that, and I didn't necessarily look up properly the store page, there's a lot of items in this kit, like we have a facial interface which is pretty okay by itself, there are some ventilations here on the sides which comparing to VR cover it doesn't offer that much but but anything is better from the foam that you get with the headset. Outside of the schedule thing we also have like the leather or faux leather thing, which in terms of thickness and the pleasure of wearing it's again something in the middle. I would say it's a little bit too hard for my face cause I prefer for the foam to completely go in and like cover my face and not balance that much, but this one doesn't like overshapes itself after like wearing it. And at last we got a two set piece of those cooling pads. They're pretty much the same in the shape of the leather pads and all the other like facial instructions. <laughs> the main purpose of it is to, well there are two solutions essentially. You either substitute it for the leather in cases where you exercise or really sweat in some highly dynamic games and then because it's like a gel, I mean <laughs> now we have to go into physics, the heat transfers to the liquid which pretty much cools down your whole face, diminishing the immediate sweat factor you like enter your body into an instant personal oven. When it's actually on the headset and on you, the gel kind of folds into the crevices, though because it's not a foam, so there's no air, it's something like kind of solid, it feels kind of hard when you press it. The space is essentially limited, so it feels like you have something hard on your face and personally it's not my type of thing, even though it's reducing quite a bit the initial water slide you get into yourself though after a while you'll get caught anyway so it's not like a permanent fix by any mean. There's a second kind of method to it because it's a liquid so you can put it in the fridge before playing or like switch it up in between if you are really prone to sweating. Seems weird for VR because normally you should not like leave your headset or at least it's annoying to me to have something external going on. That's why Meta is going into the mixed space. But what it changes is that it prolongs the time when the heat will be exactly the same temperature all across the board, like I would say it's something between 15 and 20 minutes and after a while it works exactly the same like you would not put it in the fridge. Is it convenient? I don't know, like maybe for very heavy fitness players. I work out occasionally and of course I sweat my ass off though. The wet feeling isn't necessarily something that bothers me, more over the breathing or like ventilation. From the fridge it also seems like an ice pack on your face and that really is a different feeling. Cause something is very cold there but on the other side you get warm, like you still kind of sweat a little bit in the other areas but then, I don't know, it's like very weird, like you're cutting off half of your eyes and then the rest is just working, so it feels like unnatural. <laughs> it does the job, so there's that, though it's not a perfect solution of course. I wouldn't say it's the fault of the product, but also I never experienced before stuff like that and I don't think it's something for me. Although I appreciate the hope because there are some stuff that are like replacements that can break, like the interface, so it's nice to have some parts laying around just in case. I'm not really like big into the actual accessory scene for the quest though sometimes on the internet you can see some crazy stuff happening and it's pretty cool like it's just nice to see people actually care and wanting to find solutions that meta 
not maybe doesn't want to do but leaves it up to us to decide what you want to get from the VR experience. Kudos to the provider for giving me this stuff to try out and as always see you around. <laughs>